You guys can't see me yet, can you? You shouldn't be able to. Got some some new stuff going. <laughs> hey everyone. I wanted to try to stream really early today. Happy Memorial Day to those of you who are in the United States. Um, but I wanted to stream really early today and um, test out some new stuff. Um, I might as well go ahead and uh, switch to the live feed now. Hey, that was a pretty cool fade, right? Um, so I've been having some stream like issues with the bandwidth and all that, so I was going to try to stream early today and see if that would clear itself out. Maybe it won't, who knows, but um, yeah, I'm back. I know, right? It's 1 p.m. super early. Yep. How is everyone? I was, I'm really interested to see how many people actually come to watch because I never stream at this time of day, but it is a holiday, so. Yeah, I'm gonna also draw this drawing in a very different way that I normally don't do. I'm just gonna start out with the features, um, even though I never really do that because uh, with a face that's head on like this, you really don't need to think too much about perspective, at least for the head. And it's more about getting the shapes down. So I'm trying out a different technique. You're about to get your iPad and it's a good thing you just remembered that they have education discounts. Yeah, definitely. Always look into that. I'm still benefiting from educational discounts. <laughs> Oh man, it's, it's, that's one of the good things about college, it's like, it's real expensive, but hey, you get a lot of student discounts for stuff, so, it makes it almost worth it, <laughs> almost worth the debt. You guys are going to witness me drawing the other eye live. gonna see how well I do. <laughs> it's really tempting to just draw it. I mean, to just mirror this, but I'm a strong believer in drawing the other eye by yourself. <laughs> 7 p.m.? Oh, wow. So I was able to catch some uh, people who aren't usually able to catch my streams. That's awesome. Does everything sound good to you guys? Thank you, uh, R82. 8 p.m., wow. Hey, Jemaya. Wow. Yeah, if you guys want to, you can just shout out what countries you're from. I'd love to see all that. information because it's really helpful to know what type of places I'm able to reach at what times of day. That's the one really cool thing about YouTube. There's so many different types of people you can reach. Germany, Norway, Switzerland, the USA, <laughs> India. Cool. What time is it in India? Hey Jerry. Poland. Oh wow. Russia, exam. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's exam season. I can't really see her makeup on the side.
feel like this looks like an alien so far. <laughs> Everyone's on the other side of the globe. Yeah, I know, right, Flynn? Oh, sorry, I don't remember your name exactly, Zach Vlogs. But I think this feels like the first time I'm saying your username. Exams a month ago, huh? Here in the United States, um, exams really are underway the whole entire month of May. At least I know for um, colleges and universities they are. So far, there aren't any dropped frames, so that's interesting. We're six minutes in. Game of Thrones finale. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna talk about it, don't worry. No, no spoilers. I could honestly have, uh, with this new streaming uh, platform that I'm using, I could literally filter out any word related to the Game of Thrones. <laughs> consistent stream schedule I plan to soon Gabby um, and then next month within the next month I'm gonna have a stream schedule that should be consistent at least um, for the rest of the year and longer and it's gonna be a lot more often it's not just gonna be on the weekends the way I drop lips and noses? Thanks. I have like all these random styles. YKK, I do slightly remember your name, YKK. That looks familiar from yesterday, yes. The pencil sound is satisfying. You can actually hear it. I got a new microphone that's like really good at rejecting any other sound that's um, not directly in front of my mouth. And um, in my recordings, I've been having a hard time hearing the pencil sound. What do I think about the finale without spoilers? Um, I'll, I'll tell you one thing that one of my coworkers said um, while they were telling somebody else is that you should just stop watching at season, uh, I think it was six, and just pretend that that's your finale. <laughs> I don't really think that's a spoiler, but I thought it was funny that he said that. <laughs> By the way, if you guys haven't seen it yet, I had a constant contest announcement on my community page. Um, so it's official, there's going to be a contest. 
to uh, use my last sketch as a base and it lasts for two weeks so hopefully a lot of you can enter and I'll be picking three winners to show off on my Instagram page and uh, I'm not sure I might make a video on it too but I'm not as sure about that um, it depends on the entries I feel like such a weird way for me to start a drawing. I have no idea how this is going to turn out yet. <laughs> I feel like I want this eyebrow to be longer. When did I first start drawing digitally? Um, around when I was 19. So that was uh, five years ago. But the type of art I did then and the type of art I do now is completely different. And um, when I started, I was doing like a lot of, like I wasn't really doing art properly. I was doing a lot of tracing just for the sake of tracing. I wasn't training or trying to learn anything. So yeah, I really wasted a lot of time where I could have progressed over those five years. So I really consider my digital art progress is something that has developed mostly over the past two years. Because the first three years, it was really just on and off, to be completely honest. Notice a decrease in my art quality when I switched to digital. Technically, I did a lot of traditional, very fine pencil portrait art. And those were pretty good. When I switched to digital, I was doing um, cell shading, line art type of stuff. Sorry, that's probably really loud. <laughs> um, and I really, I thought it was great. I loved it. But looking back, my pencil stuff was better. Like, it took me a while. Um, and when I did try to do stuff that was similar to my pencil stuff, yeah, it was worse for sure. It wasn't as good. Um, so that's why I say it's really tricky to uh, start with digital art because it's easy to get distracted and the learning curve in and of itself is going to make you think you're bad but it's really just something you have to spend time to get used to So far, zero drawed frames, it's 13 minutes in, and we're at 124. Okay, things are looking pretty good. See you, Gabby. Oh, I hate when people leave and I don't see it in time. <laughs> um, do I prefer digital? Yeah, because like with this, if, I, if there's something that's too far up or down or too small or too big, I can fix it easily, you know. And digital allows you to make really good stuff without being super good at drawing yet which sounds <laughs> which sounds really like this sounds like such a bad thing to tell you know younger artists or less experienced artists but I don't know I think it's rewarding but it, if you have guidance it can be you can get rid of all the cons of digital art I just think the cons are something that the cons for digital art are just things that um, don't have to be cons if you are guided or if you're really diligent about making yourself not, um, about kind of making it hard for yourself to uh, it's like if you're really focused on like self-teaching, if you can, if you're good at being able to critique yourself and be like, okay, I'm gonna do this without doing this one day, or I'm gonna do this until this looks good. Digital art is really good. It gives you a lot of freedom. Try 
trying to get her. Oh, this was like the initial sketch I did. Where's the video that didn't have the sketch? How do you stop time-lapse replays? Done. Hmm. Oh well, I can't find it, but... Where was the other one I did for my mind? It was like just a basic sketch. I showed it yesterday. I can't remember what point in time I did it. Yeah, this one. I drew this one actually like on paper while I was riding in a car in the back seat. And um, this is when I was still studying anatomy a lot for the face. So I would draw all these lines to kind of help me stay symmetrical. Um, yeah. But I drew this from my mind and I thought, hey, this looks like an actual human being. So I liked it. Pricing for commission work, um, it's tough. Until if if you don't have popularity, you can't price anything You can't really price anything above like $30 and um, if it's digital It's really hard to price it properly because you know prices are dependent heavily dependent on if someone's going to buy it, you know So I would say if you're actually painting something physical um 
then you can price it a lot higher than if somebody is just doing something digitally. Unfortunately, that's the reality of it. Now, if you're going to print it for them um, and give them a frame or something, then I would say you can price it the same as a piece of traditional art. This is hard to do without seeing everything in front of me. How I feel about iOS 13. Oh yeah, I'm excited. It is coming up on June 3rd. Oh wow. Yeah, I hope it makes um, using the iPad for like everything I use it for even more practical. Um, I hope it just becomes more practical as a computer device. Because right now it just sucks that the main way I have to get everything from my computer to you guys is like using Wi-Fi. I'd much rather just be able to like, I don't know, hook it up, pull the files to my computer, or it's just, just an easier way. <laughs> Because like when I was doing my Patreon, which I'm going to also be revamping once I settle down with my move and everything. Like uploading these documents and the videos takes so much time because they're such big files. And um, yeah, I hope iOS 13 can make that, make computers more of a viable method to use to transfer files so that I can save time and focus more time on actually doing what I want, which is drawing. One of the things I stress about, if you're wondering, is um, when I draw, I tend to draw the shape of the face really well if I draw the facial features first. But if I try to structure the head first, like you're supposed to do when you read the drawing books, I always mess up and I have to rescale everything. <laughs> like, it always takes me forever. Like, if I show you an example... Like, let's just look at how I started out this Billie Eilish portrait. Um, so if I go to the time-lapse replay... Like, this is how I started out the head when I tried to block it out. But you see, I had to undo everything. And then the initial line I drew for the chin, I had to move it up. I started over again. And then I still had to change the chin. <laughs> and yeah, eventually, I, after shifting stuff a lot, I get it right. And then I start detailing it. But if you notice with this one, I'm already happy with the face. And. The shape of the face is coming out pretty nicely. I'm just debating on now how much do I want it to look like um, Genie right here. That's basically all I'm trying to fidget with. I'm happy with the shape of the face, I just want it to look more like her. Which is always tricky because, you know, when you're drawing in a style, things don't come out as a uh, perfectly human-like as you would want them to. <laughs> no matter what you do, it still looks bad. <laughs> well, keep, keep trying. You always get 64 gig iPhone or iPad. Um, yeah, iPhone makes sense, but iPad is... Uh... Hey, Marie! Um... But yeah, I've had, I would, 64 it gives me like anxiety to have on an iPad. <laughs> hey, Anil from Turkey. Oh, cool. A tutorial about my brushes. I have before. Have you seen that one? Like I've done one before. It's, um, I think in that video I had a matte black finish on my table. Drawing Genie from Aladdin? No, this girl's name is Genie. She's an Instagram model. But yeah, can't wait to see Aladdin. 
and all um, and the Lion King. One of my favorite YouTubers, Swoozy, saw it already. And he asked his friends to rate it, and they all said it was really good, but he didn't give his own opinion, so I was like, uh <laughs> not sure what to think. Okay, where well, there's only we're starting to drop frames now, 25 minutes in. There's only 26 dropped frames. So it seems like the video only lags a bit when um, I'm streaming for a longer period of time. So, yeah. Community tab on the channel. Yeah, if you want to know about the contest that I just started, um, look at the community tab on my channel. And all the details will be there. Also, if you're on my Discord page, it's in the contest um, weekly challenges channel. It's the same exact thing. This is two different places you can look at it. I feel like too much of her forehead is showing. I need to reel it in. How come I'm so underrated? I know, right? I need to be famous, guys. <laughs> hey, yeah, there's the Discord link to the Discord if you want to join. My favorite movie? Uh, I'll name a few. Um, Avatar, the one with the blue people, not The Last Airbender. Um, Cloud Atlas. Um, Her. Um, I really liked Eye Origins. It was one of the few movies that made me shed a tear. I really liked Interstellar and uh, Inception. Yeah, those are a few of them. All right, not too bad. Usually when I flip my drawing, I, I just want to throw it away, but it's not that bad today. Show the color scale I get my color pink from. Yeah, this is my special Ergo Josh pink. Um, right, right there. FF zero E seventy one. There's another one that's um, and if you are actually using this, isn't really the perfect color pink that I like. Um, because I have to upload these to be compatible with what the internet colors are. Um, there's a much more vibrant pink. I don't know if you'll be able to see it um, because it doesn't really transfer to internet. Because internet has its own color range. Um, so like, for example, this pink. 
is much brighter to my eyes, but you'll probably look the same to you. I don't know if it will or not, but this is like the pink that's truly, you know, that I like, but yeah. No, oh, yeah, I have more plants. This is a stitch right here. <laughs> found your remote yet? I remember that. Uh, I think I made her face too wide. Mm. Might be because I'm not showing her hair covering her face enough. It's so hard to see the details because this picture quality isn't really the gra that great, but I really like the photo. So yeah, you'll notice that I don't really pick the highest res photos to draw because I just stick to what I like. And I'm finally at the level where I've drawn enough to where um, if a photo doesn't necessarily have a lot of detail, it doesn't matter, I can kind of guess what the detail is going to be. They have all been named by my followers, so you, you should ask them. <laughs> I don't really pick the names. Farrah from Overwatch. <laughs> uh, that would have got me more viewers. <laughs> person from Overwatch I've drawn is uh, Mercy. I'm gonna go more into the details of the face now. Actually with this one I'm gonna go ahead and make this black and white. Still at a minimal dropped frames at 33 minutes in. So today's looking like it was a good, definitely a good decision to stream.
with some music in the background. Um, you should check the link in the description. I don't know the exact name, but there's a whole two hour playlist that I'm listening to. I'm actually gonna go to the beginning of the playlist because I like the beginning better. You finally caught a live stream with me, so. <laughs> Thanks, jeez, sorry. I'm still using paper like. Technology or art? I can't, I can't tell you that. <laughs> like what about tech, if you like both, you should, you should do both. Ooh. <laughs> but like, what do you like about Tech. What do you mean by tech? Like coding? Because there's so many different things about tech. Because like one way to blend technology and art is you can, if you like computers, you could go work for the people who make like those amazing um, custom-made computers. And that's pretty much like an art in and of itself because um, some of the designs are really amazing. That's one way I could see one blend tech and art. But I don't really know how you start to pursue that kind of thing, but hey. It's one way to look at it. I know I'm going to blend it out later on. This is like the easiest thing for me to do. Art is very competitive. It can be. Technology, device, and coding stuff. Well, I'll give you one thing. Um, you, I feel like art, you don't need a degree technically for both, but I will say art, you need, there's a much less chance you need a degree for that. Um, Cause I don't have a degree in art. But I will say, if you wanna do tech stuff, it's a much higher chance you need to go to school for that. But it's not, always necessary because I know you don't, I don't think you need a specific tech degree if you were to go into like, um, I don't know, maybe an IT job or something. But again, you don't have to figure that out if you're not even in like college age yet. Because what happens is you end up making a decision way too early before you know all the facts and it's really hard to learn all the facts because you never you need to know more about what you like yourself before you can really take anyone else's opinion seriously enough to make a decision from it and uh, I learned that best way to learn what you like and don't like is to try something and then realize, oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Just adding some dirty shading. Not really paying too much attention about how quality the technique is. Just want to get some values in. I 
I will say I would take a little bit more care if I was on the live stream, but with the light glaring down, I'm not as, uh, I'm not going to try too hard. <laughs> Thanks, Marie. Yeah, I love, I love doing lips. <laughs> I haven't even done the eyes yet. I'm like, eh. Coding it does its own video games. Yeah, video games is also a big thing. Like, studios would love to find, I'm sure they would love to find people who are good at tech, but also understand, like, have some sort of artistic understanding at least to be able to you know it's always good to have somebody who knows one end of the program or one end of the process of something but can also comprehend the main idea so if like one day i were to hire a, let's see a lighting person if they were like into lo-fi hip-hop that would be really great, because then they would know the kind of lighting that I would like. And I wouldn't really have to, you know, I wouldn't really have to work so hard to explain to them what I want. Yeah, I use paper like right now. Yeah, like, so one way to do it would be to do art. Yeah, do both, because honestly. And um, try to jump for any opportunity that lets you experience um, what it would be like IRL. <laughs> so if you get an internship offering one day for something tech related, definitely do that and see what it's like. That is so important. Don't rely on what other people say about something. I'm not saying not to ask questions. I'm just saying like don't don't let somebody tell you, hey, do this, and then just do it blindly. dying. <laughs> um, one thing that helps is to take a break. Like I took a break and I wasn't planning to draw today but after what was it? After seeing some art this weekend and drawing a little bit for that live stream and it actually came and coming out really good it made me feel like drawing all again. Like I, I found the passion Came back. Who drew on paper? Definitely not me. Okay, we made it 43 minutes into the live stream, and there's still no crazy lag. So that's great. No problem. I love being able to help people with stuff that I was also struggling about. Hey, Nanel. <laughs> Does this look too bright? Let me...
brush to blend. Yes, I do. They used to be free for the first, like, I think 4,000 people. <laughs> but now they're paid. Ooh. I might do a sale one day on the holiday season. When it's 90 degrees Celsius in your house, I'm pretty sure Celsius. <laughs> Can you hear the pencil scratches in this live stream? Kind of looks like Khaleesi. <laughs> My Pinterest is so full of pictures of her and um, who else? Let me check really quick. Her and Billie Eilish, and I'm like, I'm not trying to draw them right now. <laughs> Stop suggesting me Billie Eilish and Amelia Clark. Uh, okay, and now I fixed it. It has a lot more pictures of this uh, girl and then other people. But it used to be just Billie Eilish and um, Amelia Clark. <laughs> Face expressions, yes. Not like as a study, but I have looked for more expressions to draw, like this one. Um, what else? Yeah, I know, it can get pretty boring with the typical model stare. What's another? I tend, I feel like I tend to overdo smiles. Like everyone seems to think that they look really creepy. So I've been kind of holding back on those until I spend some time to study them. Um, what's another expression I've done? Oh, I always keep accidentally moving stuff around. I guess this counts as a different expression. Um, <laughs> here's one. I showed this one yesterday. This is always like a little mini show and tell with the Josh thing every now and then. <laughs> I did this for my mind. I don't know where this came from. I was inspired. I was thinking about going from uh, Hunter Hunter. Go home. Um, yeah. I think I did this smile okay. This was this is an actress from one of my favorite Netflix shows, uh, Altered Carbon. Fortunately, every time I've done it, people have been like super excited and super happy to see my stuff, so I don't have that fear as much, but yeah. I know what you mean. Her eyes are like bright and dark at the same time. Ariel, yeah, I've drawn Ariel a few times. 
if I wasn't so busy, I would have participated in um, Mermaid. But oh well. I should show you guys what I did last year for Mermaid. Hopefully, it's here. <sighs> It's because of all the folders I make that makes it hard to find stuff. in here somewhere. give them way more contests. I should probably make that like a prize for the contest winners, but you never know if they already have them, but I guess it's, you know, it's always a good, good uh, possibility to have. I might edit that after this. Give a little bit more incentive to Test. <laughs> I'm so surprised at like how many people will be watching and then like the chat is so quiet and it's like oh wow everyone's really just that focused on me doing my art. <laughs> That's really crazy. Um, yeah, so wait one second guys. I'm detecting some some interference.
All right, you should be able to hear me. <laughs> Cannot buy the girl from Babysitter. <laughs> to be continued. I can have whatever I want up there. You love my streams because they're super chill and I actually listen to people in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I always say like I don't I don't really draw exactly like how you see me drawing here because um I'm taking a lot of time to actually look at the chat. Um but yeah, I feel like you know, I've always you know, I've been in your shoes before, like, watching streams of stuff, and it's, I just know how nice it is to be able to be acknowledged and have your question answered, um, instead of, like, you know, I mean, I don't blame people who have people answering questions for them, but at least at my size right now, I can just look at it myself. Eventually, when I'll get to a size where somebody else will have to be looking at the questions and then t tell me, and then I'll answer them, and then eventually I'll have to have slow mode, but we're not there yet, so. How beginner are you, James? You'll miss this? <laughs> it's not gonna happen that fast. Not unless I uh, do some. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna jinx myself. <laughs> I mean, I am trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. So far, I'm on track. Things have slowed down a little bit, but hey. Sometimes you have to like override what you're seeing with what you know. Like, I know the bottom of the nose has to be darker than the top. It just has to be. So even though it doesn't look like that in the picture, I'm adding it in the artwork and I already feel like it's making me look a lot better. Um, so yeah, sometimes your eyes play tricks on you and you just have to do what you know rather than what you see. Finally an hour. Wow, I made it a whole hour and the stream, yeah, I think, um, Marie, the problem is definitely I was being throttled before because it just doesn't make sense why it's doing good today, but yesterday it was doing so badly. I'm actually maintaining above 5,000, um, Kilobytes or kilobytes per second upload, which is great for um, this quality of a YouTube stream. Uh, 
I would, but the videos are uh, <laughs> videos are uh, expensive. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. It wouldn't be worth it unless I was actually doing like a really big giveaway attached to it. Sorry about that, it's probably really loud. I'm just shifting around in my creaky old chair. Three months of drawing, oh, okay. Um, I would say beginner artists try to focus on seeing things in 3D. Um, that's going to help you learn how to do your lighting and how to be able to draw things in form instead of struggling to just identify them as shapes only. Actually, a lot of times, beginner artists, you, you don't even look at things as shapes. Um, it wasn't until recently I was actually focusing on that. Oh yeah, the nose ring. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. I forgot. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna have that. Thanks for uh, telling me, Beryl. Don't do grayscale or pink scale. Yeah, I said you can do color, um, grayscale or pink. There's another option that's not one of those three. Mic stand do I use? Um, I'm gonna change it soon, but I use like the blue. It's one that's intended for the um, the blue Yeti, but I don't have the blue Yeti anymore. I have the Shure SM7B, so it's good. I just can't turn it like 180 degrees. I can only turn it like if this is the microphone, I can only turn it like this much. And I want to be able to turn it like all the way like that. So I'm probably going to get the Rode one, but yeah. Uh oh, my robot bot stopped you from posting a links. link. What were you going to post? from your shoots. What's your Instagram? Let's see if I like some of the photographs. And hopefully your models have IG links because that's super... I love crediting them when I can. somewhere um I I prefer at home but it, that's only because I have a place I can be like I have my own little space I don't like having to go somewhere it's just um it feels it starts to feel less like fun like it just immediately makes it everything like it makes like a lot of people will say hey don't do don't don't make what you like doing a job or else you're gonna you're gonna hate it and I don't think that's necessarily true I think you can do it in a way that will make you not hate it but for me like having to go somewhere to do this separately that would make it feel a lot more like a job instead of you know hey I'm just drawn so yeah, I definitely prefer to be at home. 
Plus, I really like spaces and customizing them and making them really cool. And you can't really do that anywhere else but your own place. So, yeah. Do I draw every day? I try to. Lately I haven't been because I've been so busy um, with stuff. <laughs> but in a week, I will no longer be super busy with other stuff. So I'll be able to draw a lot more. But then I'm gonna move soon, so that will make me even more busy, but then after I'm done moving, um, I'll be even more free. <laughs> that makes any sense. And I'm going to take you guys along with me for that journey. I'll probably just do like one or two little vlogs in the next month. Um, I'm gonna sh one of them is definitely going to include me showing you guys what this whole space looks like and not just the desk. You'll see how crap this place looks. <laughs> and hopefully I'll inspire some of you who are interested in doing similar content because you'll see that all it takes for you to be able to do something is just creativity. Because, um, trust me, this the space that I'm in right now is not not very special at all. See you, YKK. No, it's not over. I'm, I, I mean, I should end it, but I'm having a pretty good time drawing this. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep it going for a little bit. Oh, you just got back. <laughs> Every time I leave, people are like, I just joined. <laughs> okay, let's, let's make these eyebrows less cartoony. I'm gonna change this to the Zelda soundtrack really quick. of my stroke and to keep everything closer to this corner of the stream because um, there's a glare right here for me that you guys can't see but yeah restart your YouTube channel <laughs> Park Jimin thanks back pain from drawing no I have pretty good posture 
pretty good natural posture. I don't really need much to maintain it. Honestly, I get more back pain when I draw with this on my lap. Drawing and live streaming like this is actually really good for me to sit on a desk and draw. It's just a lot more, because you know, you can get strained. I like to draw my bed a lot and it's really bad. That makes me feel really strained and uncomfortable more than anything else. Got really lazy and I'm starting to use my straight stroke brush for the hair, for the eyebrows. change my screen protector I should I feel like I should change this now but I really get lazy and I don't change it very much like I probably I feel like I would change my screen protector maybe once every four months maybe like I really rarely change my screen protector right now I'm actually using my iPad as a as a Wacom tablet and I'm not looking at it right now I'm just looking at the screen because it's I don't know it's a little bit easier to see exactly how this is looking yeah it's a lot easier huh. I think one of the things I'm gonna do is once I get my new studio up and running is try to make it so that I can see more clearly when I'm doing these this is just really nice to be able to I'm drawing slower but it's nice to be able to see exactly how my strokes look without any glare because like the fingerprints also make this glare kind of annoying to look at The one thing the iPad is missing on this topic is um, the ability to show you where your cursor is when you hover over the screen. If they could get that, and I know they can because, you know, iPads can, Apple products are really sensitive and pretty high technology um, products, so I feel like they should be able to get the Apple Pencil to where it can send a signal and the iPad can notice the signal before it even touches the screen and display a cursor. Do I draw anything? Not really. Those are my favorite things to draw right now. <laughs> but yeah, my favorite things to draw are people and uh, everything that's a part of people. Similar to being like, um, it's kind of different because it's like, you know, when you get at school and you start working as a lawyer, you can say you're a lawyer, but for architecture, um, you have to wait a long time before you can actually say that, not wait a long time, but there's a lot more tests and experience you have to get before you can call yourself an architect. I've been drawing how I draw now. What do you mean, this particular drawing or this style? 
this style it's only been um, it's like digital realistic style it's only been semi-realistic style it's only been a uh, like what six months I actually never thought about that let me check I guess my profile picture doesn't really count because it's been very refined. Um, but the last, the first time I kind of did this sketchy kind of portrait thing was this commission I did for one of my patrons. This is kind of the start of this style. And I did this January 1st. <laughs> so yeah. I've only been doing this style for about five months. I know, right? Lo fi Zelda hip hop. Thanks, Otto. You can, I haven't been drawing that one or that much. as much as I should. The next year I'm going to progress a lot though. I usually have a darker color in the background and then I shade highlights above that, but for some reason I haven't done that yet for this one. Adding some shadow to her eye sockets right now. brush to give you that really nice rough texture going. Thank you, Oreos. <laughs> Still your favorite drawing? Hey, Tanya. <laughs> That's so cool that you're actually here to see me do that. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of kicked it off. I was so surprised. That was actually perfectly right on January 1st. stop when it hits like an hour 30 and then I'm gonna um, turn off the video feed and just answer a, a few questions before I end the stream so in the meantime I'm going to see if I can um, get these eyes to look a little bit more uniform Right 
Argentina, hey. Semi-realistically, um, I think it just came through me not wanting to, I wanted to, you know, be a little bit unique. And um, it naturally came from me stopping using the grid method that I used when I was doing uh, more formal portraits, um, traditional pen and paper portraits. I stopped using grid method and then naturally I found there was a certain way I like to draw things and I really like the style that some of my other favorite artists use like Cushina Villa and Ross Draws um, and a lot of uh, Korean artists that work on video games. Um, I really like that style kind of semi-realistic anime style so I kind of took it a step further because realism is a lot more easy for me but I still didn't want to do it exactly so I ended up kind of mixing realism and anime-ish kind of um, but that's kind of where this style came from anime phase yeah that was my first phase <laughs> I did manga style, even though I didn't even know what anime was as a kid. I did a lot of manga style stuff. I had all the manga books for uh, trying to copy them and learn how to be like those guys. I don't know why I wanted to draw that stuff so much, even though I didn't even really understand what anime was. It wasn't until college that I learned about anime from one of my roommates. I guess I always liked the appeal. method is where you'll take a photo and you'll draw a grid over it on the computer and then you'll number them and then you'll draw the same grid on a paper and then you just focus on one square of that grid and then you copy it and then you just eventually you figure out how to draw the whole face by just looking at each individual square and I really don't recommend that unless you're into super hyper realism because you're not going to learn how to draw things and by yourself. That's why I have such a hard time drawing from my mind because I've spent most of my art like experience as a child growing up using that grid method. I never drew things for fun like, oh let me just sit down and draw that. You know, I never built up that kind of muscle memory. So it took me a long time to be able to draw faces without using the grid method or without tracing a portion of it. And it's still tough for me, but I, I'm at the place where I can always get to my goal within at least 30 minutes. I can always get to a realistic looking face. Sometimes it takes me as little as six minutes to get a face down. Sometimes it takes longer, depending on how hard the uh, portrait is. Alright guys, I think I'm going to uh, end the live feed here and I'm going to switch to the ending soon screen. This is so cool, I've never done all this stuff before. And so yeah, I'm just going to answer a few questions before I end the stream. Anime is the biggest inspiration to get people to art, yeah. <laughs> super, yeah, it seems like it's everyone's inspiration. Um, yeah, I think, I don't know, they, they really do the art thing really good. Like, I think it's one of the only ways people who are young can enjoy art because, you know, young kids can't really enjoy, you know, Renaissance paintings and stuff like that, paintings of trees, you know. They want to draw stuff they see on TV, characters that they can attach their emotions to. 
can't believe there was no lag this entire stream, so that's really cool. The pencil stand, it's the uh, Belkin um, pencil stand for the Apple Pencil 1 that I still use. Do I think in 3D while drawing? Um, yes. Not so much for this one because it's head on, and so uh, I did a different technique where I focused mostly on the shapes and it turned out to be very good. This drawing was very low stress for me. Um, so yeah, I think, but I did think in 3D for like the rendering of the features, for sure. Huge shelf of awful old art. <laughs> yeah, I have my own little, I have a lot of old art in this room and these little, these giant little binder things. Some of them are really big, some of them are small and manageable. I like digital drawing more, but paper drawing is definitely not bad at all. And I recommend it most of the time for new artists. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the stream here, and uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, it's, it's really cool to be able to stream three days in a row. Um, oh, somebody has one more question. Long term plan for my own expression. Uh, yes, I do have one, but it will be too long to say here. <laughs> I have like a main goal and a theme that I want to go by. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.